As we prepare for our annual spring clean, Alice Beer is off to Blenheim Palace to learn how to clean on a slightly grander scale. From polishing priceless chandeliers to sprucing up Winston Churchill's wardrobe, Alice is getting tips from this palace to help you clean your palace. <laughs> <laughs> The days are getting longer, birds are singing and the daffodils are blooming. So it really must be that time of year. Spring cleaning time, of course. All over the country, people are sorting, wiping, washing, brushing and mopping to give their home its annual clean. Well, today I'm here to see how they do it on a much grander scale. <laughs> With 187 rooms, more than 10,000 books, 700 pieces of furniture and approximately 450 paintings that need sprucing, Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire takes on a spring clean like no other. And overseeing this mammoth operation is Deputy Collection Manager Carmen Alvarez. Hi. Hello. Just explain exactly what you're doing up there. Well, I'm currently dusting these amazing Corinthian capitals up here in the Grey Hall. It's very important to dust um, these, uh, these areas because dust cementation can damage any kind of surface and also can bring pest infestations. So we take the dusting very seriously. And how often do you have to do that? Well, it comes normally once a year during the deep clean, but the inspections as many times as we can throughout the year. So these brushes are, are not just your average sort of feather duster are they? Tell me what's special about these? What you have in your hand at the moment is the same one that I have up here which is Hox hair brush. We can use this when we clean stone, marble, bronze but not damage the, the object. I think I'd better go and be useful somewhere else and uh, you missed a bit? Thank you Alice. That's quite all right I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Bye! Bye. It takes Carmen's four-person team six to eight weeks to deep clean the rooms. Sometimes a single object can take over an hour to clean, like this ornate candelabra. I'm not sure if I quite have the patience for that. However, it is time for me to roll my sleeves up and offer my services. Timothy Mayhew was the butler to the 11th Duke of Marlborough for 18 years, so who better to demonstrate how to make your silverware sparkle? The first thing you do is you hold it at this end and you have your little this one. rag there. You just place it, the silver cleaner on. Don't worry about it going everywhere because it always does. Now the most important thing is when we come to the prongs is you hold the fork down and then you rub the back of the fork like this and then you turn it over and you do the inside of the fork. If you're holding the fork like this, these prongs are quite sharp and you get your finger on there and it's okay. quite painful. Oh, OK. Just pop it in your warm water. You just wipe it off and then you just dry it off. Marvellous. Look at that. See, I thought it was perfectly clean before we started. Yeah. It makes now, quite a difference. What's the one thing that you have to clean uh, that you dread touching because it's just too valuable. It's a Louis the 16th red agate tazza and um, it's a What's tazza. What's a tazza? Sorry. Well it's an Italian dish, a bowl rather, or a cup that's on a mount. And if I presented that at the Antiques Roadshow, what would he say? He'd How pass much? out. Are you terrified the night before when you know you've got to clean Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Um, bringing it over this morning I was white as a sheet. <laughs> When the doors to Blenheim reopen on the 17th of May, so do the exhibitions, including a brand new one celebrating Blenheim's most famous inhabitant, Sir Winston Churchill. Of course, every artefact has to be cleaned, and today I'm helping launder this bespoke siren suit, which Churchill had made to stay comfortable whilst in air raid shelters during the Blitz. Put it in on a 40 wash? With, but no tumble dry. No. <laughs> what do we use to clean it? So this is a museum vac, which is a low suction vacuum cleaner. And we put a little bit of stock over the top with a rubber band there. And that stops any sort of loose particles being lost into the hoover while you're hoovering. Oh, wow. The okay. dust off the item. So you yeah. want to get close to the surface, but not actually touch the surface. You don't touch the surface? No, because okay. that can damage the fabric. After a glance at the inspection sheet, it was time to clean. I mean vacuum. Well, I wish I could channel my inner Churchill and never, never, never give up. But apparently this suit takes an hour to clean and I have my own pile of ironing waiting for me at home. 
It really is extraordinary the huge amount of care and caution that goes into cleaning every nook and cranny of Blenheim Palace. Spring clean your own palace. I'm off out of here before they rip me into cleaning the other 186 rooms. Absolutely stunning. So what good, a build. Do you remember when we went to Downton Abbey, High Clear, and they said they cleaned the ceiling by floating a balloon yep. up there with a duster on the top of it, and that's yep. how they got the dust off? Yeah. So clever.